Hello everybody, I'm Dan. And I'm Greg. And this is the LFC cast in association with LFC Online. OMG, Greg. <laughs> what a game, what Dan. A game. <laughs> what a game. Man, is the penalty still going on? The 30th penalty's just finished now, cool. Dan. And it's another goal! <laughs> we'll be here all night! That didn't end, did it? Oh, uh, Dan. That was madness, wasn't it? That was madness. So how do you feel, Greg, about the game? Well, that sort of those penalties at the end—that's masked the frustration. I was getting frustrated in the game, Dan. You know. Yeah. Well, I was actually quite calm until the penalty penalties kicked off because, you know, it was just one of them games where it was just some goals here and there. And I was all right with it, and then the penalty started, and I just lost myself. Greg, I got really annoyed. I got really frustrated, and at one point, I just thought, "I'm going to bed." <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's let's start from the beginning. Yeah. The beginning of the game. A few years ago, before these penalties, when it started, how did you think? How did you think we did in the game? Um, I thought there was there was positives in there, but again, there was no directness. I thought a lot mm-hmm. of the passing was out to the side, back. Yeah. You know, there's only a few players, like say Sterling, Lana, that were actually getting the ball and going at them. It yeah. was too much. There were only two people I thought that were doing that. Maybe yeah. uh, Markovic as well, but he seemed a bit quiet for me. Yeah, I, I thought he had an okay game. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think he was brilliant, but I thought I think he did okay. There was there was some, some moments, some good stuff there. And do you reckon that the reason we weren't getting with goals was because of the setup with Lambert playing up front? Because I just thought it just didn't suit him. The speed and the passing of all that build up play to that big man up front. We usually have like Lambert up front to just cross the ball into, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I agree with that, and I think. You know, he looked a bit slow last night, Lambert, and I wanted him to have a good game. I really did, but he looked slow. He wasn't getting hold of the ball. He had loose passes. I, I was disappointed in him, yeah. and, and I'm gutted to say that. I am as well. I, I hope for the best. I mean, thinking the build-up video, the, the preview video, we were like, yeah, give Lambert the chance. It'll yeah. give him the confidence. If he bags a goal, great stuff. But even though he was captain last night, which I thought was another great thing for him, yeah. He just didn't do it, didn't perform yeah. for me. And I and I seen seen the look on his face a couple of times, I think he was getting a bit frustrated himself with, uh, yeah. with the way things were going. I think once it started it got worse for him and he was he was aware of that. But we won the game, so let's talk about the positives. Yeah. Who were, who was good for you? Who, what did you enjoy about the game? Okay, so just mentioned two, Lauren and Sterling. Thought mm-hmm. they were good going forward. Yeah. Um Rossiter. Young you know, Rossiter. Young Jordan. Young Jordan Rossiter. Yeah. Hey. As, hey. as Brendan Rodgers says, right, and I noticed this in the uh, press conferences, every player he mentions is young Sterling, is. young Rossiter. It is. It's like, all right, you, I know you're old, uh, Rodgers, but bloody hell. He's not even that old himself. He's not, he could play. Oh, he's, yeah. older than, he's, he's younger than Lambert, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's uh, in the squad next week. He's in the squad. I thought he was going to take a penalty in the end. But, yeah, uh, yeah so for me, I thought that Sterling was great. Yeah, up until the very end, but we'll talk about that in a minute. For Lalana was really dangerous. Yeah, he's getting better and better, isn't he, Dan? Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. The confidence is growing. You can see that. Yeah, Markovic had an all right game, um, but in fact, I also thought uh, Jose Enrique had a good game. Yeah, yeah, and Lucas. I thought he had, yeah, he had an okay game as well. Yeah, it seemed he, he had a point to prove, didn't he? Yeah, Lucas, and I thought he did well. And, and ju- just going back to Rossa for one minute, I just think you know. What a massive game for him! A game he's going to remember for the rest of his life. Now, with a, he with would have done anyway, being a debut game. Yeah, but we're scoring a goal as well. Debut goal for him. I know. Do you reckon that should have been a goal? Um, it was a bit of a poor save, wasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, just it, like it was a goal, you know, wasn't it? No, it wasn't so we can't goal, take yeah. that away from him. No. But yeah, that's no, easy. I can't. It should have I'm been taking it away from him. <laughs> it's a no goal. You can't so, have it. So sorry, guys, we lost last <laughs> night because I've took a goal away. <laughs> but uh, Robbie Fowler, he tweeted. A while ago, you know, he's potentially the next Stevie G. Yeah. Do you think that's fair, putting that weight on his shoulders? He's young and he's got all the attributes to become the next Stevie G. Yeah. But it's very rare someone does become the next Stevie G. Who does? Who does, He's Stevie G. He is. And Carragher said some good stuff about him as well. Yeah. I think what I liked about him last night, he, he was calm, he was confident, he looked composed... And I know we just said before about Sterling and Lana going at them. I think he was the only other one that was sort of wasn't passing it from side to side and back. He was taking a couple of their players out with a good pass. Yeah. And he could have played it easy last night. You know, yeah. He could have played it safe. But one thing didn't. one thing that was good about it, Greg, is that he was shouting. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, uh, you could see in the commentator said he's there and he's telling Lucas what to Lucas, do. Lucas, yeah, I thought that was great. Isn't it? Yeah, so. So I was happy with that. I think we need to, I mean, obviously there was goals back and forth and we should have won the game. So we obviously need to address the elephant in the room. Come on over, elephants. <laughs> no, there's no elephant in the room. Um, we need to address the mistake by Sterling. He had an okay. excellent game. Yeah. But my pass back at the end in the vital moments. What was he thinking? I uh, no idea. Uh, do you think that was down to tiredness? Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. It might also be down to, you know, it's the last minute. You, you get a bit panicky. If there's nothing in front of you, he's turned back and he's just panicked. Yeah. And he's just passed it to no one. Yeah. I think he was trying to play it safe, waste a bit of time. And just and... hit it far back into the defence yeah. as possible. But... One mistake, you know, he was, again, I think, our, our best out. player on the pitch. Yeah. Standout performer, I agree. So, also, he made that mistake, but he didn't take out that player in the penalty box, which Colo Torre did. Yeah. Wiped him out. He did. <laughs> Just took the guy down. Do you reckon he had no choice? Um, I don't know. I think players have always got a choice, you know. We could have let him go and... and Minulay could have saved it, you know, there's, there's yeah. always that choice and yeah. that option, you know. It would have been the same outcome, a goal, yeah. and, and then extra time. Yeah, I think, for me, you know, I, I knew Torre was going to wipe him out, yeah. because he's, he's getting on now, he, he's panic, panicking, and I thought, and Greg, we've already spoke about the game, by the way, everybody, <laughs> Greg kind of disagrees with me, but I thought he had an alright game, and Greg was like, ah, were you even watching the game? <laughs> yeah, no, I, he looked shaky, he didn't look, Confident on the ball. What did you say he looked like, Greg? Um, I can't remember what was it now. A shaking leaf in the wind. In the wind. <laughs> so yeah. I just looked, looked at our defence and you've got Sacco and yeah. Torre there and I'm just thinking, that's bad in my eyes. I've just I've got no worried, confidence in it. Yeah, worried and, about it. You know, when I have... And I feel, I don't know, if you have one other player with him, Mm. I sometimes think that's okay, but yeah. just a pair of them, I just thought at times he didn't know what they were doing. It no. didn't look like they knew. On the other hand, I thought he had an all right game, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I didn't watch it. Who you know, I don't know. I, I think, do you know what? I agreed actually with Greg. We were talking about it, and I said, he didn't play too badly. And he said, who was the worst players on the pitch? And I said, Lambert. And we both were in agreement with that. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. And then after that, I thought, who was worse? And it was probably Colo Torre, even though he, he wasn't the worst player. There was. Everyone else was better than him, so I suppose yeah. you're right there, Greg. Yeah. Uh, okay, so moving on. We were drawing at that point, went to extra time. Um, and the amazing Suzo come on. Yeah. And I said in the build-up to this <laughs> in the preview that, what about Suzo, Greg? And you were like, yeah, he's all right. And I was like, ah, I don't know yeah. if he's LFC quality or not. Prove me wrong. I'll give you that, Dan. But I didn't say... No, LFC I said quality. it. Oh, right, I did. said it. Okay, he's not yeah. LFC quality. No, I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah, and then I said, I reckon he'll score though. Nah, he looked good, didn't he? He, he, he looked, looked all right as well. Yeah, and he come on. He, he 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 reminds me a little bit. And obviously, this is not a complete comparison. Like David Silva type player. Yeah, no, no yeah. Silva type player. Not as good. Dropped the quality by about fifty percent. Yeah, no, but, but he's that type. He's that type of little player, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, passes, you know, passes yeah. around. He's got black hair like David Silva. That's another similarity. He's Spanish. That's another similarity. <laughs> so anyway, okay. What was the deal with everyone slipping over, Dan? Yeah, it was wet, it was grassy. What is these new boots? What's going on? Well, I think it's because they're wearing different coloured boots, Greg. Is that what makes them slip? One blue and one pink one. Have you seen them? Balotelli and uh, Lucas yeah. were wearing them as well. well Idiots. Back, back in my day, you know. Yeah. Solid leather boot, <laughs> big studs, yeah. heavy. World well, Cup classics. Yeah. <laughs> that never happened when I was wearing my Puma Kings. Puma Kings. And Stephen Gerrard still wears them type yeah. of boots, doesn't he? Just yeah. the Predators, and that's it. Black Predators. Yeah. Jamie Carragher used to always wear them. Did. But we, we digress. Let's move on and finally talk about the penalty shootout. What a penalty shootout that yeah. was. Some brilliant penalties. Yeah. Amazing. When when um, we scored the first one, didn't we? And then they, they missed the first one. Yeah. So then it went on, and I thought, come on, come on, come on. And it come to Sterling, and I just had that feeling that yeah. he was going to miss. You know, when you're, just, you're not feeling yeah. confidence, he missed that, that he made a mistake. That that mistake back. Yeah. It was just on him, wasn't it? And he missed. And I was like, oh, no. And then it just didn't end. But what great penalties you were. Everyone. Show, yeah, it shows we've been practising. Yeah. And Brendan Rodgers said after the interview that, you know, we're humble enough to say we might get beat by these or we might draw by these we, we could go into the penalty shootout regardless yeah. of where they are in the league 
So uh, he practiced the night before with the team, which is good. Yeah, uh, and it and it paid off. It did definitely. Best penalty you did it. For me, it was Suzo. Oh. Side net and boom. Then again, Balotelli's were good as well. Yeah, with his little little stutter and stop. And he even grinned at the yeah, keeper when the second winning. one, the second cheeky one. grin. Yeah. So overall, Greg, happy with it? Uh, yeah, it's a win, isn't it, Dan? You know, we've got to go into this weekend now. And yeah. We've got the derby coming up, so you know, hopefully we can take a little bit from that game. And obviously... A bit of confidence, a bit of playing yeah. time, even with the extra time. It gives us the opportunity to gel more together, these Definitely. players. So yeah, happy days, guys. We won, and that's the main thing. Don't forget, everybody, to like this video. We really appreciate it if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel also follow us on twitter.com forward slash lfc cast uh, and also we're associated with lfc online as well anything else greg um no just what you mentioned earlier to me dan if we maybe if you guys give us a few tweets you know maybe about the everton game and in our next podcast we'll read a few of the tweets yeah. out and discuss them yeah also even in the comments below put your comments in there yeah. and we could pick out some good ones and we can interact with you guys as well I've been Dan. I've been Greg. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.